I just want to do a quick video on a, a coolant leak and a, like a Touareg or a, this is like a Porsche Cayenne, but it's uh, basically the same power plant. It's a TDI, three liter to plastic intake. So they have common failure of a, a leak down in the valley. It's sometimes hard to tell besides the low coolant level. It might come out over the top here on the front. I never really had that. I just kind of had a, a smell of burn coolant. So what I did, I ordered this part here. It's about 20 bucks. Make sure you get the O-ring too. I had a hard time finding the part number for that, but that's extra, like a dollar. There is a O-ring on the bottom, a gasket. That comes with this part. And then this part down here, it's a whole, it's some kind of a vacuum operated thing. I'm not really sure. Some valve in there for coolant. That often leaks. That's about a hundred bucks. Replace that. And then this is the oil cooler here. And there's a, a seal on the bottom. There's two seals. There's kind of like an O-ring and then a seal like uh, one of those. And so there's one on the bottom plate. The bottom plate was kind of tricky for me to get off. So I used a slide hammer, popped it off. There's not really a good place to pry or anything. So there's a bottom plate, there's two seals and an O-ring. I didn't replace this front piece. This whole front thing has to come off. I'll see if I can list the part numbers for these. I had a hard time like finding a part number for that O-ring there. And then I cleaned the, uh, like the intake manifold, the uh, swirl flaps are really dirty. I cleaned that. And then like this intake is really clean. I let it soak in some kind of, a, I think, PVW overnight. And then scrubbed them pretty good and they're pretty nice now. So I'm just assembling all, all this is a real pain in the butt. Uh, there's just a lot of interference here. So what I did to take the intake manifold off, which I'd recommend getting new seals for the intake manifold to end up kind of tearing one over here. But I took this fuel rail off over here based on some other YouTube video I watched. And so that fuel rail is off and also these glow plug connectors, I took those off. Try to get some clearance here. You can't take this off without taking the whole front off. This gets in the way, you don't have room for that. Oh, there's just all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of little things to take apart. I hope this helps.